This is a story about a house. Uh, this is my mom and dad's house. This is me standing out in front of my mom and dad's house. And they bought this house about 1964 for back taxes. They'd originally started renting the house and found out that the owner hadn't paid taxes on it in a long time and they were able to secure it by paying the back taxes on it in 1964. Uh, the house was an interesting house. Uh, this part here had been added on by the previous owner and it was a kind of a purple cinder block. The house originally began its life as a, a tax shed for the neighboring house next door. Uh, if you notice that part there is a red adobe brick and that was the original, it was a one room house. The guy that bought it or had it, his dad lived next door and he moved back home and they used it as a as a bedroom and then gradually added on this part here which was a kitchen and a bathroom and another bedroom and then a lot of different people lived there and my mom and dad ended up moving into it and this is me the house in the background is the house that uh, kind of belonged to that house his name was Pat Draper that owned that house and his son was Grant that would have lived in the one room house at one time many many years ago this is me and my cousin Michael and you know, the same day uh, my uncle was playing around with the camera that's his car in the background my dad's truck uh, I was chasing him he was running backwards uh, I'm going to do a, another series on cleaning out this house since my mom and dad passed away we've got it for sale and one of the things I'm going to film is the trip down in the old cellar. If you look in the back, that's the back of the house as it was. I'm the little girl, and the only one wearing pants, of course. Um, the old cellar was accessible. If you notice, there's kind of a lean-to built to the house. And that's the back end of the red adobe brick original one-room house. And that's how you access the cellar. And another picture of the back of our house. And I'm with my friends, and of course I'm the one in the pants. And uh, just standing there getting my picture taken. My dad built a, a coal house on the back of that original, the red adobe brick house. And it was more or less a wooden lean-to, and he put a cement floor and nicer steps going down to the basement. And I remember playing in that coal shed and venturing down into that old cellar which had a dirt floor and watching my dad he had a workshop down there he had a bench and he would sharpen tools and he was always uh, good at making wood carvings and handicraft and he would uh, go down there on a hot summer day it was always cool and I remember joining him down there watching him work the place was always full of black widow spiders and I'll always remember watching for spiders the whole time we were down there this was our old living room and this is me I think on Christmas Day I got a doll that was as tall as I was and I'm the taller this is a picture of me in our kitchen uh, I'm the taller of all the kids there the little girl with her eyes closed is my sister Julie and my cousin Glenn who lives in Las Vegas now he's a huge Mustang fan has his own Mustang he's rebuilt all He's a full-grown man now. The, we used to heat our house with coal and wood stoves, and if you look in the background, you can see there's a little coal stove there. This is a picture of the house as I remember it as a little girl growing up, the way it started out life when my parents bought it. That's the part. If you look on either side of the, the door that's there, that door went into the kitchen. The window on the right is the kitchen window. The one on the left would be a bathroom, and the one farthest down is a bedroom. Uh, I'm somewhere playing there. If uh, you can see close enough, I'm in the background. About right there. Later, my mom and dad decided to stucco the house. The cinder block was really, really cold, and the house was drafty. This picture was taken about 1967. 
And that's me, and the little girl is my little baby sister, Julie. And this is a picture of me. My mom always grew hollyhocks. Later on, the house changed from being painted red and white. Uh, my parents decided to paint it a kind of a buff color with dark brown trim. And of course, it's still the original stucco design. Later on, my dad expanded the, the front porch and built on what was a carport. You can see our old Corvair and the Oldsmobile part, one that we called Delmer Flood, under the carport. And this is my sister and I standing out in front of the house. I turned my bike into a hot rod and the Corvair in the background. This is another view of the house after it was stuccoed and repainted. And they put some steps and uh, same, same plan. Very small, it's only a two bedroom house. They actually added on a bedroom. This picture up here I showed before where we were standing, my dad eventually tore off that coal house in 1971 and built a bedroom on there. So we ended up with a two bedroom house rather than a one bedroom house. And here's a picture a little bit later on when I was in high school. And we tried to build a snowman, but there wasn't quite enough snow. And so I helped my sister make a snow duck. And in the carport, you'll notice our 1973 Vega part. And this is a picture. I have a, a brother who's about 15 years younger than me. And this is when I graduated from high school. I'm again, I'm in the kitchen. And that's my little brother standing by me. Later on, I'm going to do a series in this section of videos that he's he's grown up with kids of his own now. That was me the day I graduated from high school. In 1978, they decided with three kids still living at home, I had moved away and gone to Idaho right after graduation, ended up moving back home again for a while. And we were really crowded in a two-bedroom house, and so they decided to add on to that house. And they actually had a, a, a man, Ray Valgardson. They, he was a house mover, but he followed some instructions and plans my dad came up with and technically built a half of a house and had it moved in with a big semi to join on to the little tiny house that they'd started out with. That's where they dug the foundation out for the basement. It wasn't actually a cement basement that they put in, so the house has a half of a basement. And that's when they did the excavation work. Um, you can see my Camaro parked over there. And this was the, the house the day it was delivered and brought in. And they had to put it on the foundation that was poured, the cement foundation, and then they slid it into place. Um, there's the picture of the workers sliding the house. It was like a took them a week to slide that section onto the house. It was quite a process. And there's the house being slid onto the the basement, the foundation that was poured where that hole was in the previous picture. And uh, and that part contained a bathroom and a bedroom and a kitchen and dining room. Which they eventually, the original bathroom, they tore that out and made it all one great big living room. And they have a family room where the old original living room was. There again is a picture of the foundation and the, the beams that they slide this house in on. That was a huge undertaking. And this picture here is where they're setting the house. If you look on the right, you can see the eave of the old house and where they joined it on. They spent, I had, by the time they had got this finished, I had moved out again. I was no longer living at home. But my sister was and my brother continued living at home. And this was what the house looked like once the new part was joined on and they poured a cement for a garage and put siding on the house. And over here is what the house looks like mostly today. And you can still see the old original house up on the corner. And 
Another photograph of the house, the garage on it. They added a garage on top of the cement. So this is the house as it looks presently. I'm going to be doing a series in our um, endeavors since both my mom and dad passed away. It was a family decision to sell the house. And I think it's been one of the most difficult undertakings that I've had to do because of the memories and my mom and dad had such a lifetime put into that house and dealing with my own memories and so stay tuned for my next installment thanks for watching